Right, Project Natta. Um, we've got Martin Costello back. Uh, Martin, I got you back on the show. Thanks for coming on. Um, you've been covering a lot of this. I want to touch on the uh, the the uh, what what they're calling uh, is a, a cost of living crisis. Um, is it a cost of living crisis, or do you think it's the start of something bigger? What, what do you make of it? The cost of living crisis, I mean, this is what we're calling rationing now. That's basically what they're doing. Um, we've seen over the last two years, it made it difficult for people to purchase things. And of course, we're, we're suddenly allowed to go back on holiday now. We're allowed to go back on holiday. But as soon as you go down to Luton um, or um, Stansted or, or um, Gatwick or these sort of places, you have a load of hassle trying to get your bags on the plane and across if you can get the staff because what they don't realize they've sacked all the staff haven't they they just disappeared you know because of this cost of living crisis i mean what what possibly could have spurred that i wonder yeah i suppose um you know being in lockdown for almost two years shutting the economy down wouldn't have anything to uh, do with it with it um right so what 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 do you make of it? Do you think it's a deliberate act? Do you think this is a, you know, I follow you, as you know, and um, I see a lot of your, your stuff you post in, uh, in Telegram groups and stuff like that. Um, and it seems to me, obviously, there's a bigger bigger agenda behind this, which is the New World Order, um, which is basically, um, you know, a one world government uh, needs. So we, what, tell us a little bit more. What, what do you think is happening? Well, I mean, um, of course, some of us knew this was coming. We didn't know what form it was coming in. But in 2020, early 2020, we saw this new agenda being pushed out where people had their freedoms restricted. Um, and that was the catalyst for this. That's probably when World War Three actually started. At that, that to build moment. back better, yeah? Yes, build back better, um, as they, uh, as of course they've they've called it. Um, all these same people come out with the same catchphrases, don't they? Mm. The same people like Trudeau, Biden, um, the the um, the Boris, New Zealand Sadiq woman, Khan. Boris, yeah, yeah um, Macron, you name them. All these people in the Western world come out with this catchphrase. Um, build back better but you know we know nothing's been built back better everything's just been destroyed and dismantled in a different way and they're suppressing these things because we know what they're trying to enforce um what they're doing at the moment there's you know you, anyone just go out and do your own basic research because being called a conspiracy theorist just doesn't count anymore it really doesn't yeah. a lot yeah. of us we spend a lot of time doing our own research and looking into things and we're seeing things like fertilizer factories being destroyed the farming industry being destroyed particularly in the united kingdom they're paying mm. farmers off um to retire early when we're not self-sustainable anymore we totally run on imports was that was that with some people you say to stop that some that what you're talking about there that was actually on the government uk government website wasn't it that is that right it was yeah, yeah. it was so and actually, then, yeah. So they're paying them to, to take, and we see what's going on just on the on the um the subject of the farms, Martin. Uh, we know uh, Bill Gates is now the largest uh, farm owner in the United States, and obviously he doesn't want um you know produce like meat and stuff like that. Because obviously, uh, you know, it, 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 um his climate change uh, agenda um is behind that. And then we've got uh, what's happening in, in Holland. Um, we've got the. You know the farmers out there they're going nuts um but to be fair they're they're, they're, they're protesting quite peacefully um you know compared to other places in the world like we see with sri lanka um panama and uh lebanon where it's all kicking off but we you know you don't see that on the news because they don't want you to know what's what's going on but um why, why do you think they're going after the farms mine well i have to say it and we've seen this agenda but quite recently they've pushed like um the vegan thing now so like you know the vegan they can try to say it's moral high ground because they're not producing any um nasty gases or anything but it's these same people they don't want people having farmland and stuff and you're quite right to mention bill gates there suddenly he's become like a doctor and now you know all of a sudden in a, in a flick of an eye he is a farmer and like you said he's buying he's the largest private landowner in the united states 
And this is the guy who wants to create a meat substitutes. Now, I don't know about you, but I shop at Tesco's big and um, well-known superstore. And every time, you know, I'm a sucker for, for bargains. and I'm always hovering around the um, yellow sticker aisle. But why is it all that meat free um, products are there? It's clear to say like they, nobody wants it. They don't. You know, it's not the same. They're forced to send gender onto the kids in the school, like pushing veganism and things like that. And it's making people really ill. You know, there's just no need for it. But once again, Bill Gates is there. All these people in the thing called the um, World Economic Forum. People, yeah, those that guys. Research it. We so we've got the um the, the farms. So they're going after the farms. Um and uh, yeah, it looks like you know obviously that will then create uh, food shortages. Um, so no, obviously then that's going to create um, more more panic. And on top of that, we've got the the fuel crisis. So we've got the price of fuels over doubled now. Um, that's just the start of things to come. I mean, if you look at what happened in Sri Lanka, it's the, um, elsewhere it's just an eye opener. Uh, we're just we're just uh, it's a trickle down effect, and we're we're, um, we're next. Um, but this is obviously going to lead to serious problems, Martin, because obviously if you've got fuel fuel hikes. Um, eventually, what's going to happen is everything's going to come to a grinding halt. You're going to have delivery drivers that are, you know, it's not going to be worth their while to go out and work. You know, got, it's going to cost them more in fuel than it is, you know, doing their deliveries, and they're not going to earn enough money, so it's going to be pointless. Then we're going to see some serious, um, you know, job losses, uh, lots of lots of unemployment. Um, you know, I think this is seriously going to head to a depression, and I think from that, you know, we're going to see some, you know, obviously the crime's going to go through the roof. I was talking to a friend of mine, Darrell. Um, you know, just recently, and he just said to me, like, if things go Pete Tom, he said, I'm going back to it up and I'll be heading over Chelsea, I'll be kicking off doors, you know. And there's going to be plenty of people like that, you know. Um, you know, and who knows, you know, how you know, how you'd act in those desperate situations, you know. It's um, it's quite scary you to know, fall, they're des um, desperate times, though, you know. Yeah. We know with the media, you control the media, you control the minds, but if you control the food you control the people and when people you know on death's door they're going to take any sort of action they have to do for self-survival this is how serious things are getting mm. and this country is heavily reliant on imports now because if you look at our population levels that um you know over like 10 15 years have absolutely rocketed up mm. rocketed up um for, for many reasons um, 80% um, of those uh, were not born here. I mean, this, this is a fact. Um, we need to start addressing these issues, you know, and there's yeah, going to be a serious part, problem coming. This is all part of the plan, though, Martin. This is all part of the globalist plan. Uh, so the plan is obviously they'll, they'll, they'll flood their bank control immigration. It doesn't matter who you vote for. I have this argument with with uh, Tory voters, like conservatives, on, on, and I'm not a conservative. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think I'm, I'm not a vote conservative. I don't. Uh, you know, they're the same as Labour to me. I mean, if you vote them, it's exactly the same. But like you just pointed out there, the the immigration into this country over the, the last 25 years, you know, we, it's been more than it has been the previous 2,000 years. So we have more of it over the last 25 years than the last 2,000 years. And the Conservatives have been in power, as you know, 12 of those years. So, they, you know, Conservative voters need to let that sink in. We're hearing all these stories about, you know, Oh, just all lip service from Pretty Patel about you know the, the migrant boats. They're all up in four star hotels, living the dream. You know they're yeah. all getting paid, and, and and no one's been the point to Rwanda. It was a it was a deal that was set up to fail uh, from the beginning, and people need to wake up and smile. And the reason they do this is because once they start flooding, you know, uh, with uncontrolled immigration, then what happens is it then dilutes the nation down. So then you don't have a nation state. No one's loyal to the state. No one cares about the country they have no loyal ties to 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 the country they couldn't care less so what happens then that breaks down the borders that break that break down the barriers so there is no countries and then that's your your global opening then for a global government um, and the only thing standing in the way of that at the moment is obviously, obviously russia um which is why i think that they're having uh, a beef with, with putin because he's pretty much the only one who isn't uh, willing to go along with what, what's going on. Now, I'm not saying what he's doing. I'm not condoning what he's doing or anything like that, but that's that's what I think this is all about, you know, because they, it can't be that bad in, in uh, Ukraine, mate, can it? If you're seeing uh, the president, you know, going on photo shoots of his wife for the front cover of magazines. If, you're, if your not country's being invaded, there's a serious situation. Politicians wouldn't be walking around in their normal clothes. It'd be, it, just, it just wouldn't happen. You know, people need to wake up to what's going on.
Exactly. And uh, David, you're quite right there, because actually you can actually book a holiday in Ukraine. So we're being asked in this country to like house families and things. But actually, in some parts of Ukraine, you can book a holiday there. Yeah. And so, like you said, it's hardly, you know, the battleground that's been med, uh, led, to, led to believe in. And you have to look about a propaganda. When the war started, um, straight away, a, a news channel, a well-known one in the UK called Russia Today, was com mm. immediately shut down by Ofcom, you know. Mm. And the thing is, though, in, in World War II, at least they let Lord Hawhaw have his say, didn't they, you know. But in this country, they just completely shut that down. Well, we, we both know this. We've both been on the other end of the, of the stick. You know, when it comes to the global issues, if you don't go along with their agenda, you, you get banned. Because we know I got, I got permanently banned from Facebook. I know you're continuously on bans. I don't even know you're still on there, to be honest. And I know <laughs> I that you've just recently got back onto Twitter after being on a, a ban. You, banned from, you weren't able to access your account for quite a while, was you? It was um, bizarre, right? Yeah. I've never had this before, so I don't really use Twitter that much. But when I have used it, like um, in this debate, I mean, I, I just posted something and it was just with a question mark. You know, I wasn't saying that's what the thing was, but it was just saying, is is this right or wrong? Let's debate it. Mm. And they, I just for about three or four months, I wasn't able to access it. You know, and I know I'm shadow banned anyway. Um, I'm closed down on there. But to go that far was, you know, really blow the belt, that was. That was really blow the belt. It was totally unnecessary. But as we know, David, if you, you know, if you say anything that's popular against the narrative, then they just go, uh, get his hand, mm, 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 cut it off, don't they? Yeah, and this is this what I was saying to you earlier, wasn't it? We were saying, we were having a bit of discussion about this, and you were saying, you know, the pen's mightier than the sword. But, you know, if they cut your tongue out, um, you haven't got a voice anymore, then, you know, the, the dangerous thing is what that does is it leads to violence because if people can't express themselves, then eventually they'll just have to turn to violence and that's, that's the only way. And uh, obviously, it's not, you know, I'm, I'm not condoning violence, I'm not, you know, calling for it, but I'm just saying that, you know, that's that's where it's going to head to, where, you know, if you can't express yourself. Um, so this this is all, all, all planned um, and it's all, all part of this, this globalist agenda. Uh, so you don't... I've seen obviously I've seen your posts, so I'm just I'm just sort of surmising here from from what you've been posting. Um, uh, do you think that this is all about a global government? Well, I mean, th this is where the World Economic Forum stepped in, you know, and I've written to my own MP, who is the ex Minister of Justice, Robert Buckland. Are you listening? I've highlighted to him. It, in four days' time, it'd be, it'd be three months ago, which was a quarter of a year, I raised my concerns about the World Economic Forum attacking our domestic democracy. Because, you know, you've got the, the leader of that um, that group, Klaus Schwab, who's been, um, who openly admitted that he's, um, he's infiltrated lots of governments like mm, Canada, mm, mm. Um, America, all these different places, you know, and that yeah. is an attack on our democracy. You yeah, know, yeah. this is a serious, serious concern. And the way he just ignored me and wouldn't reply, I gave him an option as well. I said, look, after two months, I said, look, if you don't reply um, within like um, X amount of working days, and I'll take your answers that you're complicit in this treason, because that's the only way to describe it. Robert Buckland, my MP, was complicit in this treason. Yeah, they're all mine. They're, they're all on a payroll. They're all getting paid. They're all, they're all in it together saying that. Iblabcon, it's all one big party. You're all being fooled. You know, people think they're different parties. But look, like I was, as I was saying, using immigration as an example, you know, you vote conservative, you've got uncontrolled immigration, green taxes. You know, you may as well have voted for the Green Party. Do you know what I mean? It's literally yeah. the same. But people need to wake up to that. And they're arguing with me and, and telling me, blah, blah, blah. Just like, mate, you know, seriously, take a look at what's going on. It's They're, they're all in this together, you know. But what worries me is now is the path that we're heading down because we're now heading to total destruction. You know, we're going to start seeing banks closing, folding. You know, we've already seen it, as I said, in Sri Lanka, in Lebanon, uh, Panama. Um, you were telling me about a bank in Ireland um, that was uh, no longer taking cash or yes. something. What was that about? The, yeah, I mean, um, the problem at the moment, people are really concerned about cash because cash is the ultimate um, form of freedom because that's where you can 
you can barter, can't you? And as we know, they're trying to in, in, introduce um, a Macashless system, the Chinese style mm. social credit system. Many countries around the world, and it was very scary because it's actually happened not just in Ireland, but the UK as well. Banks have been stopping people taking money out. And actually, it's happened to me personally. I've had to give a reason to take my own money out, you know, yeah. for no reason. Yeah. I thought, I just said, you know, why? That's my money. I want it. You know, why do I have to give a reason? But they're asking people to bring invoices in. So what are you going to spend this on? I mean, what's that got to do with them? You know, what's that got it's to absolutely do with mad. them? No, I, spend I just, whatever um, you like. Who cares? What's it got yeah, to do it's your, with them? It's your money. And I just heard earlier, Martin, that the banks now are, are taking away people's overdrafts and, and reducing them. Um, so maybe may a bit of an indication as to what's to come, because uh, they probably know they're not going to get their money back. Um, wow! It's, yes, it's, it, and obviously, you know, with this is this is the thing. What, what the picture's starting to come together now. So for a long time, you know, you've been hearing all these conspiracy theories from the likes of like Alex Jones and whatnot, um, and you think, oh yeah, you know, you take it with a pinch of salt, and then it, it turns out to be true. Um, but now, the, you know, the pieces of the jigsaw finally come together and we can finally see who's behind the veil and we can finally see the people who are orchestrating, you know, this global government, you know, because their ultimate goal, you know, is, 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 is global control. They want a global government, a global bank, a glo you know, uh, a, a one world um, government is, is the term the terminology they use. Um, completely out of control. So to do that, you don't you can't have borders, you can't have countries. So do you know what that sounds down like? the borders. And then that's why we that's... keep hearing arguments. Oh, we're all we're all immigrants. Blah 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 blah. But keep flooding breaks down breaks down the national identity. That's how they're gonna do it. And then and then attack... you know, as we as we said earlier, we love every culture's a beautiful thing. Everyone yeah. being yeah. different, that is so beautiful. Yeah. That is that is the most one of the most beautiful things about humanity. Yeah. And we were Everybody... discussing that earlier, weren't we? Saying how nice it was when you go away on holiday. Yeah. And everyone, culture. you know, they um, everyone being different, you can taste mm. people, you know, see other people's cultures and all that. That's yeah. such a beautiful, beautiful thing. That's so mm. beautiful. But when they take these things and they use it to pit people off against each other, yeah, you know, it's disgusting. It's like getting two like different animals to fight each other. It That's is, what they're yeah, doing. they're disgusting people. They're they go over, the, they go over the top, and then other cultures start superseding ours, and then and then it's no longer we lose our identity and that's what it's all about it's all about global control that's what it's, that's why they're all doing all this that's why we've got uncontrolled immigration that's why you know they they shut down the economy for two years because they know the repercussions they know what's going to happen you know, people know they need to get their money out of the banks um you know a friend of mine wally's been saying this to me for a while and i've been a bit skeptical you know what i'm going to do with the money you know where i'm going to put it you know and, and the price of gold's a bit silly and I'm, you know, thinking about doing that. And I spoke to you before about this. Um, you know, we spoke about crypto, put money in crypto and, and silver. I know lots of other people were doing this and, and buying food and stocking up and, and preparing for the worst. Um, but now, you know, Martin, what did they say now in October? Uh, the prices of uh, of energy prices mm. are going, going right right up, like big time. Um, and people I mean, are look, paying attention. I mean, yeah, I think we know what's going on. The problem is at the moment, because like it's a heat wave and stuff, people aren't thinking about when it's going to start getting cold. Um, and that's one of the biggest issues we're facing. People sleepwalking into this um, financial apocalypse when mm. they're literally getting everyone to throw their savings at the problem to pay the gas meter, when actually they need to say no now enough is enough on this right this has got to stop because all they're doing is they're trying to stamp out the fires these people are trying to take everyone's they're they're pillaging people's savings just to pay for the gas bill but yeah. this is the most basic form of thing they got a double the transfer of wealth here. yeah the main of well they'll kill off a lot of the elderly this with this winter there's no doubt about mm. it that's what they're doing i mean we know what they've done in the past over the last mm. two years but now they're going to use um, the fact that people won't be able to pay for the heat in, but they're going to use it to pillage people's money out of their account 
And then when they can't pay, we all go run into the government saying, oh, no, yeah. what can we do? What are we going to do? Yeah. You need to help us, blah, blah, blah. So it's a of beggars, Even yeah. Boris has just had a chat today with these people and they're not interested. He's mm. walking out of the office soon. So what will happen next? They'll come in with a new digital currency. Yeah. Because you know what didn't work before? That app, that app to track us yeah. um, with the you know what? So now they're going to use it in a different way because they spent £37 billion on this app. So they're going to slightly adapt it and they're going to bring it for other reasons because we're having food rationing soon. And then and then how how they bring about the global government is a global crisis. And they say the only way to resolve this is we all need to come together to to, to push this. And that would would then uh, be the excuse to put forward a, a global government. We've seen the likes of Tony Blair pushing for a global government, and it's all starting to pan out now. I'm starting to look at this, and I mean, my my sister's like she, I, I thought she was batshit crazy, but then everything now is all <laughs> seemed to, to to come together. She's not watching this. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that, I, I've told her before, but do you know what? Like, she's a lot of what you know. She 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 was a lot of this, and um, you, you can't argue with it, Martin. You cannot argue with it, mate. You know. Even the AI, you know, the AI taking jobs and, you know, people laughing, saying, oh, yeah, and the AI can't take my job and all that. And, oh, that's never going to happen. You go down to your local Sainsbury's, mate. You go down to Tesco's or you go down to Asda's. You got yourself checkout. They got rid of the checkout girls. You're now you're now scanning where the girl, that girls used to be or whoever, scanning your food. They were getting paid for. So they're not paying for that wages. They're not paying you to do it. You're doing that for free. And then the computer system there, you know, isn't getting paid a wage, it isn't going to join a union, you know, it's not going to need a break, doesn't need to go on a, a, on a 20 minute, half hour break or toilet breaks or make excuses and turn up late for work, you know. Yeah. And then the same with like bricklayers as well. I, I see some machine the other day, it was in Australia, and it, it was a machine, Martin, laying bricks, laying a wall, like going on. Yeah. Humans will be obsolete in about 20 years. Yeah. People just don't realize what's around the corner. No, they don't. They're walking into their own. Um their own grave really aren't they and that's a great that's a great you know what you said about the um, staff service checkouts actually and i must admit i've been guilty myself using that um because you know um, you've got to go to you've got to go to the girl if if, if there's a woman there i I use the phrase because it's usually usually a woman predominantly but obviously males work as well but you know if there's someone buying the the till mine you've got to go to the till yeah you go go into the you go into them self checkouts you're not getting paid for that Exactly. And, and yeah, you're helping it. So point. it's the only you know, people need to wake and up to what's begin. going on. Yeah. And that's and that's when we come back to the most basic form of democracy is probably cash as well, isn't it? Because that, yeah. that cash doesn't have any um any prejudice or anything else. It's what people accept, isn't it? And well we know the idea. So they once they got this digital currency, as you said before, they'll have it and then they can control what you buy. Oh, you bought too many steaks today. You can't well, this week. You can't buy another steak because of because of the. David uh, the... said something naughty on Twitter. That's it. He's not been able to have um, anything for two weeks. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, look what happened recently. I just I just came off a a, a twelve hour ban uh, from Twitter because I said there, there were only two sexes, male and female. Anything else is a mental illness. <laughs> and they banned me. Uh, what? That's. That's what we're dealing with, David. And look, you, you have to look at who behind these. Um, Patients are running the asylum, Martin. They are. You're actually damn right there. And that's, and like you said, that's why we are living in the country now that um, has our, our culture completely attacked. You know, we've we've yeah. un, we've seen unprecedented mass in, uh, mass immigration. And let's be clear, immigration is a positive thing. It really is a positive thing. But mass immigration is absolutely devastating. And um, there's obviously a problem here that we need to talk about. We can't just shy away from these yeah. things. And the Conservatives, our own government, they're, they're behind it. They're not controlling. There's a reason that they're, they're not controlling. There's a reason that we've had, you know, more immigration in the past 25 years than we have the last 2,000 years. And then we know, as I said before, they've been in power for 12 years. right? So they People need to wake up. People need to wake up. Really do need to wake up and and, and smell the globalists because it's just shocking, mate. It's absolutely shocking. People just don't 
I don't even know what to say, Martin. I mean, I, I mean, how are you preparing for this? Are you are you buying crypto? Are you buying gold? Are you buying silver? Are you um, stocking up on food? Have you got a, a bug out bag? You know, I, I think the most these... important thing to do, yeah, we just need to like spread everything around, really, because we don't know what's coming. That's that's the that's the problem. Yeah. And they will attack us and go toe to toe at every level. These people are psychopaths. Let's make yeah. no mistake about no, you're that. you're damn right. Yeah. Um, so we don't make know what no they're going to do. So we have to be prepared for every eventuality. That's that's a fact, you know. Yeah. And it would be a, a very uncomfortable for a lot of people. But what we have to understand is, you know, we've um, we've had like over two years of people sitting on their asses, not doing anything, and like thinking this is just normal. But who's going to pay those people? That's just yeah. somebody's got to serve them and stuff. It's going to come to a head, and people need to recognise this. This is unsustainable and we have to look about, you know, the most fundamental things. And, you know, I'm, I'm literally going back to food and water here. This is how far back we need to go um, to support human life because these psychopaths, they want to remove um, people who, who, co who think for themselves. You know, you're not allowed to think for yourself and they're the yeah. ones that are being silenced at the moment. That's how bad things are getting. Well, that's, that's communism, Martin. That's common. Mm. That's what they do. They tell you how to think. They tell you how to feel. They tell you what to eat. You seen that that scene from uh, Scarface, Al Pacino, when he makes it, he gets over to uh, the US, and that's what he says to the um, the police there. Then he the immigration. He says, you know what it's like under communists. They tell you how to think. They tell you how to feel. They tell you what to eat. And he's talking about yeah, having octopus every day. He's like, I've got octopus coming out my ears. And that that scene rings bells in my head every time I look at our, our society today. Is that's what's happening. They're telling us what to think. They're telling us what to feel. We just saw recently that, that veteran who, who got arrested by the police because he posted that LGBTQ meme that was like uh, shaped like a swastika because someone got anxiety. Mm. Bizarre, isn't it? But you're right, though, because what, you know, they're, this is what they do, though. They've got into our schools as well, and, and the people need to realise this. Because I know a lot of um, parents now who are taking their kids out of the school yeah. because they're indoctrinating the children on what how what they should do. But who's yeah. you've got self you got a school at home yes. home school yeah yeah who's told them to think we never we never agreed to that we just want them to learn English math science the end learn those things but what they're doing now they're pushing all these other things on and of course if you don't go to university or you don't do this and you don't do that then you don't get the next rung in society that that's where we're headed now it's like this social order and that's why you see this this um this latest outbreak what you call karens you know these these people just um bursting out for no reason because they they think they know better about a situation yeah. and and, but that's like the that. thing and if you don't comply to it martin you get cancelled you get taken out mm -hmm. and just, uh, let, let me tell you this quickly this I, I was speaking to someone today, right? And um, I, I won't say they are, but I was speaking to someone today, and they they were um, they're, they're trying to get like um, some sort of guardianship for their their grandchildren. Uh, the the one of, one of their kids and the partner are falling out, blah blah blah, and um, social services are involved. And obviously, they don't want to see the kids end up in care or whatnot mm. or get lost. Things aren't going too well, so this person's just trying to step up. And they had to have an interview with social services. And this is what I was told. They said, how do you identify? Excuse me? How do you identify? What do you mean? Like, well, as white British. For, well, that, that that's your, your first step you put, you put wrong. You know, you should have said, like, her, him or something like that. You would have been right, right. That would have been the right answer. Um, yeah. What's your thoughts on um, LGBTQ community? Um, what, what, if what? you're... Um, if your if your grandchild was to identify um, as as another sex, how would you help your grandchild? This this is the questions that are being asked um, to take in. This is this is social services. So obviously, if you give the wrong answer, if you say, "Well, no, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that," um, you've got no chance. So you have to go along with their narrative. You have to go along with their story. This is how in depth this shit's getting. This it's getting bad, mate. You know, it's getting it's getting bad. People need to wake up. You know, these communists. Think... are... Take it over. Yeah, I mean, two things here. First of all, the social services is abbreviated as the SS, and we could probably see mm. that as well now. <laughs> a lot of things. But um, 
Um, again, though, these people, they're on terrible wages, but they get training so they know the latest thing. So they give yeah. these people who can't think for themselves, you know, very important jobs. And that's where a big part of the problem is. It's like teaching now. The real decent teachers, they've left the profession. There's no point. Because yeah. if they, if they, you know, they want to help the children develop personally and stuff, they're just pushed out because they're not doing something... Then they get attacked by the parents for not doing this. They're, to be honest, they're the most persecuted, actually, probably, people, society. The original teachers, the ones being pushed out of the profession and getting these youngsters in um, who don't really know what they're doing. They've got targets to reach, but that's all they've got to go for. They're not really helping. Yeah. The and ultimate goal is wokeism. It's to spread wokeism. And that's where mm. you see, like, the universities and that. You know, it's, it's a breeding ground for it. Uh, you know, a friend of mine, um, his, his uh, sister um, now identifies as a man. Mm. Um, she's only about 19, 20, but now identifies as a man. Um, but again, went to college or uni or whatever. And, you know, and this, is, this is what happens. You know, they, they mess with people's heads. Mm. Um yeah, it's just, it's, it's just dangerous. But I think, you know, um, my advice is now, like you said, you need to, you know, we don't know exactly what's going to go on, but it's time to, you know, spread your wealth out, you know, take, you know, not everything out of the bank, but, you know, spread it around a bit in, in some assets, some gold, some silver, some crypto, um, you know, stock up on food, um, valuables. That obviously, that would be a commodity to trade if, you know, things get bad. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a bug out bag. It sounds a bit mad, but you know, have you seen that, Martin? These these nut jobs. Well, I thought they were nut jobs, but now I, I think differently now. But they, um, have you seen that the, the doomsday preppers? Um, yeah, I would love to see it. I mean, I, I wouldn't put anything past what's going to happen. To be quite honest, I'd be prepared for everything. You know, you think these guys? Yeah, these guys prepare by like stacking food, and they've got like um, you know, exit routes to get out. Of their their town, like yeah, well, they were like I primary know. routes, secondary routes. They've like, really done, you know, bug out, hide out houses, and most of these play like in America. But yeah, it's, uh... at the end of the day, we don't know what's going to happen. Anything could happen. Absolutely anything. You know, as you know, David, they'll um they'll they ostracize us for society for having opinions. We just oh, don't yeah. know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know? So these sort of people, they're doing the right thing, you know. We we just don't know, and people need to support any, any eventuality because they will take this away from us. Their ultimate goal is um, complete control, you know. And of course, yeah. as you know, people like us are not going to accept that because yeah. you know we don't live like that. It should be total democracy, but our democracy has been completely swallowed up in this form of communism. You know, it's basic. Yeah. yeah, under our very noses for lots of reasons. You know, so we, the thing is, you think about these people. Distractions. Who on the of Normandy, yeah, right, for our freedom. Where that, what do they think now? It's like people, yeah. like, and all the probably people that watch this, it's the um, digital warriors that actually go out on the battlefield every day to um, to go against arguments and say, you know, hang on, can we have a difference of opinion? Because we don't care what you think, but this, you know, we can listen. Yeah. We've got a counter argument. Listen to what we have to say, but don't yeah. just dismiss us all the time. Listen to us, and um, to be called like a conspiracy fish, all these, all these smears and things, they don't mean anything. And I'll tell you why. It's because you know people like us. We spend a lot of time reading and research, and we don't watch crap on telly. Oh, who cares about the football star and blah blah blah? We're out actually reading and doing other things apart from being caught up in this bread and circuses that's the only way to describe yeah. it is bread and circuses because it's just a big distraction the whole of everything is a distraction it is and people need to wake up because if you don't soon it'll be your children and their children suffering so wake up well said martin i was thinking you know as i said before alex jones is right you know um yeah people need to wake up <laughs> it's, it's it's that simple. I think people need to wake up before it's too late. You know, there's going to be a lot of people going to be in for a rude awakening. Um, you see, by the time they wake up, it will be over, won't it? But, um, yeah, guys. Um, let us know what your thoughts are. You know, do you think this is a, you know, a, a cost of living crisis or the start of a global depression? Um, I'm saying, you know, Alex Jones is right. I think you know we're going to see some some serious uh, global depression, and and they're, and they're going to start pushing for more controls and using a lot of this stuff as excuses 
uh, take away more of our freedoms um, and the bees. But let us know. Let, let me and Martin know what you think. Uh, comment below um, and let, let us know your thoughts. Thanks again, Martin, for your time. Really appreciate having you on. It's always good to see you. And um, we'll have to, we, we keep saying it, but we'll have to catch up soon, have that beer and um, yeah, do, do, go, go and do a bit of shooting or something. And everyone watching this, all, everyone's welcome. Come down. We'll have a good, we'll have a good time. <laughs> Take care, Martin. Thanks again, mate.